Talon Electric. There are a lot of great dual drives on the market, and almost all of them follow one of two main workflows. A breaker circuit into another breaker circuit, or a breaker circuit into a tube screamer and or the other way around. Uh, and there's a reason that we see a lot of these. It is a tried and true system that works well. Both of those drives stack incredibly well. Uh, they both can be amenable across many different amp types, which makes them great candidates for stackable drives circuits. But you may notice that there's another incredibly popular overdrive in our space that we see a lot of iterations of as well, but does not show up on nearly as many dual drive circuits like this, and that is the Klon, uh, which I for one am a little bit surprised by because I've always felt like it was a great stackable low gainer. Uh, it also beefs up really well when you turn when you crank that gain, especially if you have like a better take on the Klon. But it's a great drive and it stacks really well and deserves more attention in these dual drive environments. And this is the dual drive by Talon Electric. And as you can probably guess based on that preamble, this is a breakers and a Klon in one device. That's obviously a little bit reductive. They are both heavily modified takes on a blues breaker circuit and on a Klon. The Klon, for instance, on the right side here, being a four knob configuration featuring gain, level, and then independent low and high controls, which I think is essential in a good Klon clone. And on the left side here, you have your level drive and tone, classic BB style circuitry, but with an added toggle for soft or hard clipping, uh, which allows you to kind of switch between something with a little bit no more note clarity and articulation and kind of touch response, or a kind of higher gain, more compressed, but lower output, more driven version of that circuit. Both circuits in here sound great on their own, and both of them are fine-tuned and refined to have a really great sweep in their gain structure from low gain all the way up through, especially on that Klon side, a really ripping amount of overdrive. And the character of this drive changes dramatically based on the guitar you're using and the pickups you are putting into it. It's incredibly responsive, as you heard from that intro. Everything from single coils to mini humbuckers to those incredible, super clear high output pickups in that Balaguer that I was playing on that outro. This thing can go from clean, bright, chimey, low gain, kind of like character, all the way up through something pretty crushing, and I love that. But there's another thing that makes this even more versatile, and that is an order switch here at the bottom, allowing you to run the right side into the left or vice versa. And depending on how you have all of your controls set, your favorite side changes frequently, and it's really nice to be able to make those changes back and forth because it really does make this an astoundingly versatile overdrive pedal and something that can go from pretty clean to blow up your amp gainy. So let's get into our sound samples and let's give the dual drive a listen. As always, before we get into our sound samples, let's go ahead and talk through the signal chain and the context we are working in. I am playing my Music Man St. Vincent Goldie into the 29 pedals Yuna with all EQ toggles in the down position, so it's just functioning as a buffer line driver. Uh, and we're going into my tuner and then the Talon Electric dual drive. From there we go into the Universal Audio Starlight Echo, the Astro Modulator, and the Walrus Audio Slower. And then out to our amplifier, which is the Matchless Lightning 15 into the Universal Audio aux box for our cabinets. Uh, here is our dry tone. <laughs> Let's go ahead and start on the right side of the Talon. Uh, this kind of four knob configuration. We'll play through uh, some settings over there. We'll jump over to channel two, um, and then we will play with that kind of stackable toggle in the middle. <laughs> Thank 
Okay, let's get into this uh, kind of like order switch in the bottom middle of the pedal. We're gonna kind of set both pedal or both sides of the pedal a little bit lower gain because I think they stack better when you have each of them kind of set a little bit more subtly considering you heard in the last 15 minutes or so just how much gain is on tap on either side of this pedal. So uh, from my money, I'm a big fan of the toggle in the right position, basically the left channel going into the right channel and not the other way around, but it is worth hearing both sides and deciding for yourself what you like more. Mm -hmm. 